In this video, I'm going to share with you the easiest way to get headshots in Modern Warfare 2. The first tip is that you want to build whatever weapon you need headshots with for bullet velocity, damage range, and recoil control. We're looking strictly here for accuracy and range. We want to be able to hit people really easily from distance, which makes it significantly easier to get those headshots. You don't want a lot of recoil, especially if you're playing a core game mode. You guys have probably noticed a lot of the times you'll shoot at somebody's head and because of the recoil or your accuracy on your weapon, You'll end up hitting them in the head for the first couple shots and then you end up missing the last couple and hitting the body or maybe just missing altogether. So make sure that you're building your weapons for accuracy, range, and recoil control. That way when you're shooting people from distance or even medium range, you'll be able to keep that weapon steady and keep the gun on their head long enough to get that headshot. Tip number two is playing at tier one. They finally added tier one, which is also known as hardcore into the game over the last couple of days. And this is a really good game mode to get headshots because obviously it only takes one or two bullets the dome piece to get that headshot a lot of times including myself i'll start shooting at someone's head and then end up missing the last couple shots and then get a body shot which kind of sucks but hardcore takes that away obviously so if you want to play hardcore it's a good option just keep in mind the only downside right now with hardcore at the time that i'm recording this video there is no shoot house 24 7 playlist in hardcore which is actually a very useful playlist to get headshots in so if you're going to play hardcore you're going to have to play all the standard maps if you want to do core you can just do the shoot house 24 7 playlist playlist. Third tip, objective-based game modes are the key. Make sure that you're playing objective-based game modes if you can. If you're just doing the shoot house playlist, obviously it's random, but objective-based game modes are way better just because if you're playing something like TDM or free-for-all, the only objective in the game is to kill people, so people are just hiding the whole time. If you're playing something objective-based like Dom or Hardpoint, people are constantly moving around and going to a specific location on the map, which makes it easier for then you to kind of pinpoint where they're going to be and make it a little easier to get those headshots instead of having to deal with a lot of people camping the whole game so play objective based game modes it'll make it a little bit easier on you tip four use stun grenades these are actually really clutch and a lot of people don't do this and i thought this was stupid until i started doing it run stun grenades and just toss them man you get people not able to move and it makes it way easier to knock out these headshot challenges especially for the guns that suck so if you're running a stun grenade and every time you come up on somebody and and maybe they know where you're at and you're afraid you're gonna lose the gunfight toss a stun bro they're not able to move it'll make it super easy to knock out a couple of these headshots so uh, make sure that you're running stun grenades the last tip that i want to share with you i don't think you've seen in any other videos but i want to give you a quick strategy that i found out while trying to get some of these guns polyatomic using the shoot house flank right now in shoot house there's a ton of players that are trying to get long shots and what i'm about to tell you is pretty scummy but it'll make you level up your guns or get your camos quicker do the shoot house flank man this is what i call it essentially you run around the side of the map and you kill the people trying to get long shots it's super easy it's super basic but trust do this super fast <laughs> it's not hard at all so many people are trying to do long shots that they're just sitting in the back watching that middle lane and if you just wrap around you get yourself one or two every single time you'll knock this out really quick just do the shoot house flank trust the strategy but these are the tips that i have for getting headshots here in modern warfare 2 for those of you that don't know the headshots are used to get polyatomic camo so i'm sure if you're watching this video that's what you're working on but if you guys have any other questions on getting headshots in mw2 or any other tips that you found while going along this camo grind leave them in the comments down below i'll be sure to try to help some of you guys out but i do appreciate all the love on the videos man i hope you guys have a good rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next one